being in the heart of Silicon Valley, Stanford has a long tradition of innovative scientific discovery as well as development of cutting edge technology. My laboratory is interested in developing a new generation of imaging technologies that can be incorporated during urological cancer surgery. The ability to see the cancers in vivo without the need to do an actual biopsy, so this is called a virtual biopsy, I think is something that may be very useful in the future uh, for the urological surgeon. Another exciting part of bladder cancer is to manage the, the reconstruction of patients who need to have their bladder removed. And that's been one of my areas of interest. We do um, uh, reconstructive surgery where we essentially build a new bladder using the patient's small intestine. And that's been, been something that we're happy to be able to offer the, a large percentage of our patients who need to have that surgery. We're always trying to improve everything that we do. You know, one particular aspect is microsurgery. And so one way we're trying to improve that is using a basically a sutureless technique using what's known as a thermoreversible paloxymer. We're bringing it you know, online in an animal model in rats and then hope to be able to roll it out into humans in the very near future. Stanford has a very robust program in robotic surgery. In fact, the currently available robot initially was developed at Stanford many years ago. We have two essentially full-time robotic surgeons and several others with, with ability to use the robot to accomplish the surgical treatment that we need to do. And I would say it's actually the research as applied to clinical care that makes us un unique. We've developed new treatments here in radiation therapy, the cyber knife. We've done fundamental research in the genetics of prostate cancer. We want to see whether or not using circulating tumor cells will help us select appropriate therapies for patients with advanced prostate cancer. As a team, I think we're able to make discoveries and translate that into reality like no other departments in the country. It is a very collaborative program. We're all housed in the same clinics and see patients together, where, whether we be medical oncology, urology, radiation oncology, and that leads to, leads to a collaborative spirit. We have great plans to expand both our breadth of what we are interested in and what we're studying, and also the depth. We actually have two brand new hospitals going up. Our main hospital, Stanford Hospital, is going to be opening an entirely new building, providing about three or four hundred new beds and a really expanded state-of-the-art facility. And at the same time, Packard is expanding significantly as well with a whole new building, new ORs, new facilities, very much patient-centered to have lots of outdoor spaces for the kids and so on. We're very excited about, about the future in this department and I think we have a great start and lots of, of room to grow as well.